In this update, we ran some radius arms. Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Welcome back, hope you're all having a great day. In this update, we're gonna ring these radius arms. Um, so I've actually made a little bit of mistake. I filmed this all, I didn't have the camera set up right, and the detail, uh, the camera was out of frame, you didn't see it properly, you'll see what I mean here. So what I've done, I've been a little bit clever. I actually filmed doing some radius arms before Christmas. So I'm gonna use that footage. So the footage you're gonna see is not strictly Sprout's radius arms, they're my friend's radius arms, but it's exactly the same process and I've done exactly the, th the same thing on Project Sprout. So I go right into the detail, there's not much speeded up. I've slowed it all down just to do something different. Uh, occasionally people like to see the detail. So if you wanna see the detail, it's included in this video. So uh, that's enough of me waffling on. Sit back and enjoy, cheers. Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? Hope you're all having a great day. Um, and in this video, we're going to be reaming out this radius arm and fitting a new radius arm kit. Um, so this could be quite a long, slow video, this. So I'll apologize in advance if you don't want to watch this. Um, then the content is really just how to use this tool uh, and how well this kit works for reaming out and refurbishing the radius arm. So if that's not your thing, um, you might want to turn off now. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I've had lots of comments on my other videos where I reamed the radius arms on PL asking about this kit specifically, how it works, uh, where you can buy it. So I thought I'd just do a little video. I've got to do a couple of radius arms for a friend that's got a mini moke. So I thought I'd take this opportunity while I'm doing it. I've not used this tool a great deal, um, but I can obviously let you know all about it. So first off, the radius arm uh, reamer that you get um, comes with an adjustable reamer. This uh, sort of guide uh, pin here. Um, it uh, comes with a few other parts. So you'll see how these all go together in a moment. Uh, and it comes with this drift, which is perfect for knocking out the old bushes. So we'll show that in a moment. Uh, so we've got all the tools we need laid out here. There are a couple of extra bits you need. Um, so um, I had to buy this wrench um, for um, using the reamer just to get it nice and square when you're using it. And the only other thing I bought was some cutting oil. I think that's quite important as well. But this kit is for sale on eBay. It's not cheap. So it's 95 quid plus 10 quid postage. So it's 105 quid uh, just for the tool to be able to do the radius arms. But it's becoming uh, increasingly difficult just to get hold of radius arms. So if you can do your own, uh, if you can refurbish your own, um, one, you can make sure you've done a really good job on it, and two, you haven't got to wait around for someone else to do it. So this video, I will try and speed up little bits of it, but I'm gonna try and include the whole lot so you don't miss anything. Uh, so first thing, uh, really important, is to try and keep it clean and tidy when you're doing it. This is quite a messy job, or it can be, if there's loads of grease in the radius arm. This radius arm's already been cleaned up and painted, so let's get stuck in, and I'll try and talk, it, I'll try and talk through it as we go. Um, so the first thing we want to do really is just to get the old uh, radius arm pin out. Uh, I did check this radius arm actually and it's not it's not really badly worn but there is play in that inner bush there. So it was worth doing. Pin comes out quite easy. I would just keep all the bits together. Why not? Like I say, it can be a bit of a messy job. So, next thing we need to do is we need to knock through the bushes, and we do that from the brass bush end. 
So this drift here will fit perfectly inside that brass bush. So first thing we need to do is get it clamped in the vise nicely. I use a block of wood here just to stop my bench getting all wrecked. Although it's harder to do this side because um, when you've got the knuckle cap on, uh, it holds it on the bench nicely. But this will do for the moment. So we've got that clamped in the vise. Uh, the drift goes in and it fits that bush perfectly. It's just starting to move now. So the difficult bit here is going to be holding the actual arm. Might actually see if I can do this another way. Let's have a look. Um, I should have chose the other side to demonstrate it on because it's a lot it clamps in the vice easier. If I could get this side it would make it a lot easier. Now you see that needle rollers come out the bottom now, so that come out quite cleanly. Um, what you'll find is this has got a metal grease tube in the middle. So the metal grease tube actually forces the needle roller out the bottom. Uh, if you've got a plastic grease tube in there, it will just squash the grease tube. This drift will go all the way through. Here comes the grease tube. There you go. See, it's an old metal style one. And now we just need to keep going and get the bronze brush out. And there we go, guide goes all the way through, or the drift goes all the way through, and there's our bronze bush from the other side. Let's clean that up. So that was fairly simple, wasn't it? Uh, we would just have a look inside here now. And again, on this side, that's nice and clean inside there, which I'm really pleased about. Um, sometimes where the um plastic sleeve that's on here splits you end up with a radius arm that's full of grease inside because this is an older type with a metal sleeve they just match better because they don't split so they um yeah they're just they're just better because once that grease sleeve splits you can't get the radius arm greased up properly so all we're going to do now is just have a clean up inside here In fact, save me a bit of time because it is lovely and clean inside this radius arm, which is great. Just got some brake cleaner on hand. Just want to make sure that's lovely and clean down inside there. Then we just want to make sure there's no damage that's looking really good pleased about that back in the vice again now the first thing we need to do is fit the grease tube back in so let's just get the grease tube ready now it's pretty important which way this goes round because it's tapered so it should go from the needle roller end which is the larger end it's the larger diameter hole and it should go with the, uh, the smaller diameter end inwards towards the brass end, if that makes sense. Um, so it won't, it won't go in that way round, uh, but it will go in that way round, if you see what I mean. 
Now all we do is just push that inside there. Couldn't be easier. Cool. Uh, next job is to get the needle roller in this end. So we just take this off the old kit. Now, a bit of attention to detail here. So the needle roller goes in one way round. So you'll notice it's more tapered on this end than it is on this. It's flat on this end, tapered on the other. That's tapered in a little bit just to make it easier to fit. Just get that up a little bit higher. Now, one thing we are not gonna do, although it says in the instructions, it says to tap it in with a hammer, we're not gonna do that because they're so easy to damage these needle rollers, they really are. So we're gonna use a rubber mallet and we're just gonna get it started, really just to make sure we get it aligned properly. And then what we're gonna do is I've made up my own um, threaded bar, which acts as a, a puller just to pull the bearing through now. So these are just the washers off a radius arm. So this is pretty easy to make this. Um, and what I can do is insert that through there, that fits really nicely on there. And we're going to use this method for pulling through the needle roller bearing and the bronze bush as well. Now you could, and I have in the past tried to put them both in at each end and then wind them in together. I wouldn't recommend that to be honest because you've got, it's difficult to make sure you're keeping it all square. So now this is pretty simple, just make sure that's square. And we'll just wind it in now. And when it stops completely, that needle roller bearing is in all the way. Now it may seem a bit of a faff doing it like that, but I have tried knocking them in gently with a rubber mallet, using a bit of wood. I always end up damaging those needle roller bearings, so I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend doing it like this. It's also really easy to forget the grease seal as well. I've done that before. Um, so bronze bush from the other end, just make sure it's nice and clean. Um, sometimes these might be tapered more on one end than the other. Uh, this one's not, uh, but generally where the writing is, that's towards the top. And again, we'll just tap this to get it started. So it just uh, had to give that a tap with a normal hammer. Um, but you don't want to tap it hard because it burrs over this end. It just makes it harder to ream then. So same as before. Up through the middle. Again, making sure it's all square before we pull it through. There we go what we've actually got on here is a double washer set up so as you're tightening that nut up it's not trying to twist it all round the washers just slide against each other so it just helps to keep everything pressing in nicely so there we go so that's the top brass bronze bush in 
the needle but needle bearing in on the other end uh, so they're both in fully uh, and then of course what you find is the radius arm pin is too big for the hole so this is where you need to ream it so bear with me a moment and let's get the reamer set up right guys so this is probably the bit you're all interested in and that's reaming the actual bush itself so we've got the bush and we've got the needle roller in now um like i say the pin is oversized or the bushes are undersized whatever you want to call it it's an interference fit at the moment anyway so we need to ream out uh this bronze or it's a bronze bush isn't it <laughs> bronze bush in the top here so the radius arm fits um just to answer a couple of questions so a few people have asked so when you ream it um there is a pilot bush in the bottom which i'll show you in a moment which holds in place and that acts as a guide so as you can see that fits inside the needle roller bearing uh and the shaft then fits in there so when you're reaming through it's going uh perfectly straight um so so that aspect of it works really really well because if you just use a reamer without a pilot bush or anything on this end what will happen is it will go slightly at an angle um and yeah it might work for a while but it's going to wear out quicker um and it's just not going to be as good so you have the pilot bearing in there to keep it all aligned what a lot of people don't like about this tool they've mentioned about this tool is you ream from the top downwards so as you're reaming this the swarf from where you ream this bronze bush out of the top falls down now it doesn't go inside the radius arm because the grease bush is inside and remember the grease bush is dry at the moment uh, it ends up in the prop bottom of the radius arm now a few people have said oh, i don't like that because it ends up in the needle roller bearing well it doesn't because if you think about it uh, just trying to find the old bearing here so because the pilot bush sits in the bottom that goes inside the roller bearing like that so when you're reaming through, um, it's actually stopping the bronze from going inside the rollers. Now you might get a little bit in there, granted, um, but that stops most of it going in. And then when you come out the bottom, it's just about being clean and methodical. And what I find is I put a bit of lubricant on here. Any shavings just stick to the actual reamer itself. Right, so first thing we need to do is there's a little guide the pilot sits in the bottom and there's a guide to hold it in place so that fits on there like that and we just need to tighten that up uh, when i first got this i wasn't sure what this bit does but it it doesn't only just hold it in hold the pilot bush in place you see it's got a hole there so it goes something like that and this strip of metal holds a pilot bush in. What that does, when the reamer drops through, it just stops it all falling out the bottom. So it's quite a well thought out idea. It can be a bit of a faff, so you've got to take this in and out every time you ream it through. But it takes a bit of time. But once you get used to it, it's pretty quick, to be honest. It's more just a little bit fiddly, but you know, I'm in no rush you definitely don't want to rush this that's the main thing it's really easy to over ream the bush if you over ream the bush you've wrecked it you're buying a new radius arm kit then so first thing we need to do is slacken off the reamer uh, you just trial fit it first but what we want to do is get the reamer so it sits about halfway down the bush now because we press this bush in rather than whacked it in with a hammer there won't be much damage on the end so if you have whacked it in you're probably gonna to have to ream a whole lot more so first thing we need to do is adjust it uh, you've got to do this a little bit at a time you do top and bottom at the same time so the, the blades don't fall out about half a turn each time, I reckon. You want to get, you want to get to the point where the bush sits about halfway down the reamer. Uh, if it's right at this end, you could ream out too much, 
and if it's just right at that end you'll ream out too little i found about halfway works a treat so that's gone all the way through so that's too loose so all we do is you have to do this gently and a little bit at a time i'll do half a turn so half a turn tighten it up and then check again not enough half a turn tighten it up check again right that's got to the point where it's just touching where it's halfway now so we want to ream that now uh, this works some people wonder how a reamer works but all it has is um, these blades underneath these blades there's an angle there's an angle cut on this shaft so the more you move it this way the wider the reamer gets now <clears throat> What I do with this is I've got some cutting oil. You don't have to use a lot of this, uh, but this just helps the reamer go through nicely and smoothly. Uh, it also serves a purpose of well. It makes the reamer a little bit sticky. So any of those metal shavings that you get off with a reamer stick to the reamer itself rather than end up in the bush. Sorry, end up in the needle roller. So we're halfway now, uh, now we need to get the wrench. And this first ream, it won't do much at all. First thing we wanna do is about half a turn backwards. And that's just making sure that the reamer is centralized. So you don't wanna keep going backwards, but about half a turn is fine. Um, and then pulling both sides of the bar, cause if you pull one side, it will pull it over at an angle. And as you ream, you don't have to apply any pressure. It just naturally sort of screws itself in as you go. That'll get lower and lower and lower. And then it drops through. <clears throat> so that's where the pilot bush catches it at the bottom. And that's what that tab's there for. It's just to stop it falling straight out. Now what we need to do is now just keep repeating that process and checking the shaft until we've reamed enough. <clears throat> so this might take two or three goes with a reamer. It might take 10. One, it depends how burred up the end is. And two, it just depends how much you're taking off each time. So each time we take that out, you can see the shavings are just sitting on there. So hardly anything reamed out that time. We need to put the pilot bush back in the bottom. And just through practice, the best way I've found to do this is because there's hardly any shavings on there at the moment, it's not done much, I ream twice and then give it a clean out. Uh, and it does help if you've got compressed air for doing this. So the first ream doesn't do much, it just cleans off any burrs to be honest. Second time round, no more than half a turn because you'll quite easily over ream it if you do much more than that. So half a turn, no more cutting oil needed. In goes the reamer. What you'll find is that goes to about halfway. So that seems to work really nicely. Half a turn is back up halfway. Um, half a turn backwards to centralize and then forwards. And it should go through nice and smoothly. It shouldn't snag or anything like that. So there we go again, the pilot bush catches it in the bottom. Out we come, you'll notice there's a lot more metal shavings on there this time. Pilot bush out. Um, it's quite important to use two bits of rag here, so we're going to be cleaning these metal shavings off with one bit of rag. Um, and then what I found works really, really well. If you've got compressed air, because these metal particles are so fine. I just give that a blow through and it gets everything out really nicely. The 
reamer itself. Give it a clean, give it a wipe. Uh, so again, half a turn adjustment. And while that's clean, what we want to do is just make sure that we haven't over reamed the shaft. So make sure you get the shaft the right way around. You always do it from the needle bearing up, so the way it'll go in the car. Just come back through, have a feel. If you notice at the moment, that won't go through the bronze bush. So we need to ream it out a little bit more. And you should check every time you ream it now. You should just check that to make sure it's okay. So pilot bush back in. I will stick a link down in the description for this tool, but I must just mention I'm not, this is not a paid promotion. I'm not advertising anything. They haven't asked me to do this. I'm doing this purely because a lot of people have asked me about this particular tool. I think it's pretty good. It's a bit of a, takes a bit of a you getting used to to begin with. But I think it's a great tool once you know how to use it. So a bit of cutting oil on there. Again, let's see, that was half a turn, so it should sit down about halfway. Yep, halfway. You must know this now, half a turn backwards, just to center it. And I've got to admit, first time I use this tool, I over reamed two radius arm kits. So it does take some getting used to, but for me, there wasn't a video to watch like this one. I might have saved a couple of kits if I did. Goes all the way through, again. Pilot push out. Like I say, I only check it every second time. Sorry, I only clean it every second time. So, we can, you can just do a quick check in the top there, but you should always check it properly coming up from the bottom. So it still needs a bit more. Half a turn, remember. Pilot butch back in. I think you guys probably get it now. It's just repeating this process. So I'll probably speed up this little bit and we get just, we get to the point where it's just about done. Because like I say, it's really easy to over ream it. So I'll talk about that in a moment. So bear with me.
Right, we have got to the point now where where I insert it from this end, it is just, I can just feel it starting to go in the other end of the bush. But you can't, you can't push it through by hand, but it's just starting to catch. Now, <clears throat> this is where you've got to be careful because you don't want to over ream it now. If you over ream it, it's knackered. So what we'll do on the reamer now is only a quarter of a turn. Um, and it should be, it shouldn't, the pin shouldn't be a loose fit in there. It should be, it should go in about halfway and then just start to tighten up a little bit. Because if you ream it anymore, it will just go through and it will be loose. So we need to be quite careful here. It's just started to, it's just started to get to the right amount now. And we're just gonna do a tiny little bit more. Which as I say, in my experience is about a quarter of a turn. Those little shavings come off there really easily with a bit of compressed air. So this is only a quarter of a turn this time. So you know, it's a re the actual reamer goes in about three quarters of the way now. So we're, we're cutting out a very, very thin bit this time. Half a turn backwards. And then it won't take much with this one. And it may be that we need to do it again, but it's better to do it under ream it than it is to over because we can always ream off a little bit more you can't put metal back on slow and steady is the way to do it so let's just have a look now that mm, wants a tiny tiny little bit more but th this time it's probably only going to be um, an eighth of a turn we're really at that stage now where if you're not careful if you do a bit too much it'll be yeah it'll be too much so this should be the last ring with it And it is a little bit slow this, you know, it, it does take time to do. I mean, this side, I've already got all my tools out. I've already got everything ready. It, it's probably taken me 45 minutes in total. And when we get to this bit, I'm just being really methodical about cleaning everything off because this is kind of the final, final cut. So we want it as smooth as possible. Pilot bushes in. This reamer will go most of the way in now. Half a turn backwards. And the amount of metal we're taking off this time is really, really, really small amount. And that is perfect. So it should just go through. It's just starting to catch at the end there. So that's spot on that. So we need to make sure it's nice and properly clean now. Uh, I use brake cleaner for this. Have a good look inside. There's no swarf in the grease tube, that's looking good. And the bearing looks spot on. So we need to grease the shaft. And then we need to fit the washers 
don't forget the rubber seals. Need to make sure we've taken the pilot bush guide off. but by no means least, we need to grease it up. And there we go. Newly reamed, greased up, all ready to go back on the car now. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll stick all the details down the bottom. Like I say, slow and steady, little bits at a time, but it is a really great tool.